Congratulations by Lars Pacheco for finishing top 6 for Miss International Queen 2023. Kaya pag-uusapan natin dito ang 5 important lessons sa performance ni Lars Pacheco sa Miss International Queen 2023. Pero ang tanong, satisfied ka na ba sa top 6 finish ni Lars Pacheco? Or baka meron ka pang napansin talaga na medyo nagkulang siya kaya siya hindi siya nag-advance sa top 3? Hmm. Let's begin with the first reason. At eto na nga, ang destiny. So naniniwala tayo talaga sa kasabihan na if it's your time, it's your time. Or kapag if it's not your time yet, malay mo baka sa next na sasabak ka, you will be the next na queen. So wag tayo magmadali kung hindi man natin nakamit ang ating uh, chance na manalo this year. Kasi nga, panapanahon lang yan. Wag nating ipilit. It's because mahirap talaga na ipilit yung mga bagay na hindi pa pwede. Dahil mahihirapan ka lang aasa ka lang ng sobra and then masasaktan ka lang. Kaya sa mga pusong sawi, huwag masyadong mag-over-expect dahil uh, sa finals round, talagang manlulumo ka talaga kapag hindi mo inaasahan na hindi ikaw yung pinili. Number two is yung kanyang answer and marami talaga ang napabilib sa kanya. So pakinggan natin ang kanyang full answer. Miss Philippines, this is the absolute last question. Good luck. Miss Philippines, what are the challenges that new generation is facing today? And what will you say to them to solve the problem? Miss Philippines, take it away. I think the problem that the youth is facing today is the pressure. I believe that in life, even it's not youth, we have pressure, we have challenges that we have to face. But I think the most message that I could give to everyone is whatever problems and challenges you have, you just have to keep going. You should never let any circumstances stop you from reaching and achieving your dreams and your goals in life. Because I believe that at the end of the day, no matter how hard the pressure is, life always goes on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Philippines. The third one is judge perception or yung choices ng judge. Kasi we really cannot please everybody. No matter how good you are, even if your performance is very outstanding or stellar. But then, kung hindi ka talaga bet ng judge, hindi ka na bet. And malas mo kapag hindi lang isa, hindi lang dalawa, hindi lang tatlong judges ang hindi may bet sa'yo yung chances mo na mag-advance sa top 6, top 3, or even makuha sa semifinals uh, can be slim enough na parang, alam mo yun, yung chance mo na to redeem yourself will not push through. Kasi nga, ito yung isa sa mga reasons. And nakakalungkot lang isipin na may mga nangyayaring ganito talaga na klase sa mga competitions, hindi lang sa mga beauty pageants. Number four naman is yung selection committee. Na after nang naibigay ng scores ng mga judges, yung mga candidates, and dito na yung mga tabulators, tapos yung mga heads na, or yung mga organizers ng pageants, ang bahala kung sino yung talagang pipiliin nila. So, nangyayari talaga ito sa mga ibang pageants wherein um, kahit na yung, for example, candidate number one uh, garnered the highest score. Pero it doesn't guarantee na ito ang papanalulin nila o kaya even uh, magkakaroon siya ng podium finish such as second runner-up or fourth runner-up, third runner-up or first runner-up. So, it really can depend on the selection committee kung sino yung ipapanal ipapanalo nila. So, may mga ganong instances, pero wag nating lahatin. Number five is, in my own opinion, hindi pa ata ready ang Miss International Queen na magkaroon ng back-to-back -back win to a certain country na merong incumbent winner. So, uh, Philippines ang nanalo last year. Uh, I think parang hindi pa yata panahon para manalo ulit ang Philippines this year. So parang ang eksena is uh, let us give chance to other countries na manalo din ng Corona for Miss International Queen. And hindi naman masama kung ganun ang gusto nilang patakaran dahil siguro um, gusto nila na ikalat 
yung mga number of countries na gustong manalo sa patimpalak na ito. And hindi lang puro iisang country or puro dalawa ang country just because they are very competitive. Um, ang dami na nanalo na candidates or nagpa-place na candidates from this particular country. Pero ang mga nagsasabi na yung height daw ni Lars Pacheco ang isa sa mga downfall niya, I believe it's not. Kasi tignan nyo si Kevin Balot. Uh, halos same sila ng height pero nanalo si Kevin Balot, ba? Diba? Kaya I think height is not the issue here. Tapos yung isa pa is yung gown na parang naging props, parang naging costume daw yung eksena. Pero I think it's not kasi nakapasok naman siya sa top 11. Kasi finals night ito and binase nila yung performance sa evening gown competition and sa swimsuit gown. So I think it's not about gown. It's not about the height. Mm. But still, congratulations to Lars Pacheco for finishing as one of the top six finalists sa Miss International Queen 2023. And you made the Philippines proud. So, eto nga pala yung winner. Si Netherlands ang nanalo as Miss International Queen 2023. First runner-up, si Miss Singapore. And second runner-up, si Miss USA. So, kitang-kita nyo nga naman. Grabe. Sa kanila talaga yung gabing ito and it is their destiny to place and to win this pageant. So, a big big hand to these countries na uh, grabe, nag-stand out talaga sa pageant na yan. So, I hope na nag-enjoy kayo dito sa ating um, vlog regarding sa top 5 lessons kung bakit hindi nakapenetrate si Lars Pacheco sa top 3. So, I hope no bashing ulit dito. So, Thank you guys and always think positive.